Hi, this is Rick Anderson, I'm president of Coaches Club Cannons. I'd like to say hi to you all. And uh, we're going to do some of these little, almost what I could call gun show question sections, or questions I get from customers on the phone. Uh, they're in other parts of the web, but just go over a couple little things that you may uh, find interesting. And uh, I did want to say also, I want some of you uh, younger guys to start getting into this a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, us older fogies love these things, but you 30 and 40 year olds, we're getting more and more of you to get the experience of fun of having black powder cannons. So I did want to say that. And you young women out there, again, uh, we have uh, men buy cannons as presents for several women that we've had lately. So what I want to do is show you a couple things that we haven't done much on the web uh, or I've had questions on. We haven't shown or demonstrated much what we call our picnic cannon. It really is a replica of what they call a cohorn mortar in the Civil War. And this is a uh, uh, <clears throat> I call it the picnic cannon because it's so easy to carry and uh, it's not quite as, uh, although it's a, a powerful, it's not quite like the 18 inch and the other. But it does shoot the golf ball, Oop, it shoots the golf ball. Uh, I've actually got an example of one of these plastic practice balls, they fit pretty good too. But anyway, <clears throat> the picnic cannon, what we call, is very, very heavy. It's still made out of the three and a half inch material that we make with all our other cannons. So again, you can be absolutely confident that there's nothing you can do that can possibly uh, <clears throat> do anything to damage this or yourself. This in fact is very, very heavy and we're showing it this way because you can use this very much like uh, just a signal cannon. And <clears throat> it has a, what we call a powder chamber. I don't know if you can see that down in there. That's where the powder falls when I load it, and that's one ounce of powder that we put in this. And we'll talk to you about powder in just a second, but that's basically a shot glass. So that'll give you a little idea of how much powder we use in that. Again, this will throw a golf ball a very long way to make sure you understand this still is very powerful. Uh, five, six hundred yards, especially if we tip it at an angle, of course. but. <clears throat> Again, it's still a very large boom, but again, we uh, can shoot this right off the uh, 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 a road or even in grass and still get a really nice boom. Now we again talk about shooting golf balls, but this one really does a very, very nice job for just noise using our bread trick. So you put your powder down in there. You really don't have to tamp it, but in this case, you take a, this is a, uh, I would say, a one piece of bread, and you start balling that up, and then we get it started, and all we do is take a tamping rod of, you know, a one inch dowel or something like that, and we press that bread down really hard, so we get a tremendous seal. We can put the bread actually right to the top of the, the muzzle here. So when we light that, again we get tremendous compression and we have a huge boom and there's basically nothing but a few little bits of bread that will be left out of this so you really don't have any cleanup. So you've got a heck of a uh, noise maker and something that's extremely cool. You can see we do have these trunnions on this, you know the pieces on the side here. And those are really easy then, if you want to make your own little wood carriage uh, for you guys that do some woodwork, if you uh, just get anything that gets it up off the ground and can tip it a little bit one way or the other, we've sold one, we, we have one, but again it's so easy to make a little uh, stand for this if you choose to, but you don't need to. There's a competitor out there that make this kind of cannon, ours is just way stronger and better built. And again, this is lit. You can see, maybe, there's our little fuse hole. And uh, I want to let you know now, make sure and look at the web, Coaches Club Cannons, uh, Google that.com, 
and you'll see we're selling fuse now along with our friction primers but we have fuse very available for you also so this little picnic cannon again is great to just bring almost uh, anywhere uh, it's not so obvious and you get a big boom at any vacation or uh, event this will be great and again the cost is quite a bit uh, is extremely reasonable and we can ship that to you usually within a day or, or two days so the picnic cannon also known as a cohorn uh, is one of the products we really haven't showed you much we sell a bunch of those and they're a great deal of fun now I did want to add a little bit in this little segment uh, and we get questions about this but always getting questions about powder and there's two kinds that we haven't talked a whole lot about this is real black powder that's real black powder I use a brand called GoX there's several other brands and they come in uh, finer or coarser uh, grains this one is FFG the more F's the finer the grain powder now I like uh, you can use any of it even the really fine stuff that gives you a really big boom our cannons easily handle that so FFG 1F again whatever F's you, you, you can get now black powder again is great when you want all the smoke and flames you can get because one one thing about black powder is not only very explosive but also gives you a lot of, of uh, smoke and everything else now black powder isn't quite as readily available uh, black powder by the government is called a actually an explosive uh, quite a few gun, sh gun shops sell this but not all of them so if you want to shoot these what we call substitute black powders this one is Hodgins uh, triple seven and what you're looking for is uh, four muzzle loading guns another one is called Pyrotex now you can get these at any gun store even places like Walmart so uh, they give this FFGs also this is triple FG which would be very good for this in other words it's a pretty fine grain powder uh, but it's a substitute by federal law this is a propellant its characteristics are a little bit different than this but it's still a tremendous bang and works just very well also so we get that question quite a bit and substitute black powder and all our cannons do work just on general principles I still like black powder but this stuff works very very good I get that question all the time and so uh, the place I get a lot of my black powder is called powder ink give them a little free advertising here you can google that they are a distributor it's easy to get from them and again I was going to say that uh, the substitute black powder is readily available at any place that would sell a gun so in this segment again this is just a little blurb of information we'd like to have uh, these here periodically on the web remember the web coachesclubcannons.com I want you to go in there go through the web you'll see uh, all of our other products you'll see a lot of things being shot hopefully you have a lot of fun and that's what we're about we're about fun with safety <laughs> so I, I did want to mention real quick make sure uh, that you always especially when you buy the cannon we do have all safety and protocol is on the web that you can read before you do it uh, before you get that and of course we can answer any question you want so you know, always be safe remember using black powder or substitute go out get some fun get yourself a picnic can and I think you're gonna like it and uh, give us a call we're one of the few companies I like talking to you we enjoy talking to customers you're not going to talk to a computer so give us a call that again is on the web and uh, I hope to hear from you soon thank you so much